What's up, y'all? You're checking out the Winner Circle here on ThisIsDixie.com. I'm June Archer. We have the legendary Tony Sunshine Terror Squad. Keep it locked right here. Yeah. Are you ready to win? Yeah. Come join the winning circle. Fuck with the winners, baby. Put up your hands for me, baby. Put them up. This the theme song for victory the Shit you say to yourself when you make history I'm trying to make it feel like the first What's going on, y'all? Today we're talking about patience, passion, and purpose Here with my brother, Tony Sunshine yeah. Legendary, legendary Thank you, Terror Thank you. Squad Who gave us Fat Joe Of course, Big Pun, Remy Ma, and there's so many more uh, Tony, I want to talk to you, bruh About patience, passion, purpose Where have you been uh, for the past couple years that we haven't seen you. We know the music hasn't stopped for you, um, but where have you been where people can kind of say, you know what, all right, we see what happened with Tone, and he kind of fell back and was in the cut, making magic happen? Uh, you know, it's not a secret. I tell the story all the time. I'm not afraid to tell the story. I was dealing with adversities and things that, you know, um, life hands you sometimes, dealing with, 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 with um, uh, depression and anxiety and, and this game is not built for everybody. You know what I mean? You have to be a warrior and you gotta be hands-on and then your work ethic has to be up to par. And sometimes people are not gonna meet to your expectations. You know, whether it's in the industry or whether it's in your personal life. And sometimes you mix a little of both together and, 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 and that causes disaster. You right. know what I mean? You try to bring some of your homies from the block and you try to teach them the way and, and, and you know, you don't meet their expectations and they don't meet yours and then that's 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 a recipe for disaster in itself you've been on this journey for a very long time i've right. I'm, I'm known you 20 plus years uh we were in it at a time where music was, music. was really the focal point it was it was a heyday of hip-hop and r&b right. right. uh, for you how do you try to compare or compete now with what's going on out there or do you kind of stay in your own lane and kind of take from here and there or do you say i'm going to do what tony sign tony sunshine does well well you know each one teach one that's that's been the same I, i've been i've heard that since i was a kid each one teach one i don't think there's anything wrong with learning from someone especially in music music evolves every day music changes every single day you have to know how to reinvent yourself you got to know how to fit in at the same time, knowing how to be yourself and add a little bit of who you are into what you're making. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, I've always been great at reinventing myself. I've always been great at, at being able to, to, to mesh with whoever. You put me in the studio with Enrique Iglesias, we're gonna make a smash. You put right. me in the studio with Wyclef, we're gonna make a smash. You put me in the studio with Kells, we're gonna make a stack. It doesn't matter who you, so you put me in the studio with Young M.A., we're gonna make a smash. You put me in, a, because you gotta know how to reinvent yourself in this music industry. It is what, what you love to do. And I love music. I love all kinds of music, all genres, gospel, pop, hip hop, trap music, R&B music, salsa music, Marin I love it all, I'm a musician. I like to think I'm a well-rounded musician. When you ask me, yo, so what kind of music do you make? I'm an artist. Mm. I like music. I love music. Play me the beat. Play me the beat. What we doing? You know, I love music. So you got to know how to reinvent yourself and know how to move, you know, in, in this industry. It changes every day. Now, for some of you who don't know uh, Tony Sunshine and you're trying to figure out where you remember from, this guy has been uh, down with Terror Squad for, for many years. But one thing I want you to share today is it's very hard for people to get a record deal, right. right? And when we look at you, we know your story. For those who don't know your story, you had one, <laughs> two, right. three, four, five record deals or Six, more. seven. Right? Talk, talk about what happened and why it happened and why you stayed on your course and your purpose to still be here and still be relevant. Um, you know, just being a, 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 a Latino, R&B singing, not, not, you know, I, I hate to, to bring race into it, and, but it is what it is, just being a Latino R&B singer and not knowing what to do with a Latino R&B singer, not knowing how to, cat, you know, not knowing how to place him 
in the in, in the world of R and B because there's never really been a Latino credible R and B singer who can really sing. You understand? And I say that I say that with 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 appreciation to God for giving me this gift that I have, you know, and allows me to keep it and allows me to be able to share it with the people. But it is what it is. There's never been a credible Latino R&B singer that can jump on the record with, with, with any rapper and make it sound good. But you lost money. You, you made money. What were the pitfalls? Because I, I want people to really understand, um, like, you've been, on this, you've been on this thing and you've stayed strong. A lot of people don't. And I want to talk about mental health because I think that's a, a very important piece. Of course. But, you made money, Tony. You like, lost money. Like, but I spent a lot of money. Um, drove a lot of cars. Seen a lot of females in the street, out of the street. Uh, you know, I had a lot of downfalls. I seen myself in a lot of dark places. But you, like I said, you gotta know that it's for the moment and 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 success. I know now. I know now that success begins within you, within within yourself. It begins, you know, with a thought process. Then, you know, you gotta think with your heart and you gotta run with it. So success, nobody can stop you from winning. Nobody can stop you from proving a point. Nobody can stop you from getting your point across except you. You know what I'm saying? And I know that now. So with that being said, it, it, it's, it's, it's always been a thing for me to wanna win, you know, to, 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 to wanna persevere, to wanna prove people wrong. You know, and not just to prove people wrong, because it's, it, 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 it's for myself first. But at the end of the day, you know, I want to show these young boys coming up that it can be done. You know what I mean? It, 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 you don't have to go the wrong routes. You don't have to prove to anybody that you're the best member of the team. And, you know, you don't have to be the flyest dude in, in, in the crew. And you don't have to be the loudest. And you don't have to act out, you know. There's other ways to go about things, and nobody wants to deal with a knucklehead. Right. Who wants to deal with a knucklehead? Nobody. Who wants to give somebody some money, you know, to do something knowing that they're not going to get it back? In a perfect world, could you see Fat Joe, Remy Ma, Cuban Link come together on behalf of just saying, you know, we got to do one more shot for, for a pun, or do you think we could just have those conversations and just kind of walk away and be good? Uh, just kind of lay it to rest and we could all kind of just be in our own space, appreciate each other and just live our lives. Well, I can say, I can speak for myself. I can't speak for, for, for you know, Joe or Remy or anybody else. Me personally, I, I, I don't have a follower working. I've never had, that's my family. I'm a product of that. You know, no matter where I go in this world or who I sign to or who I collaborate with, I'm always going to be Tony Sunshine from the Terrace Park. That's where I came from. That's what made me run Fat Joe the Terror Squad. That's who I am, no matter what. Um, as long as it's right and as long as it's real, I will never have an issue or a problem with working with my foundation. That's my foundation. So, of course, I'm with it. That's what I'm talking about. 250%. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is, it, <laughs> that comes with growth, though. You know, um... My departure from Terror Squad and my, my, my decision to walk away from Terror Squad because Joe didn't drop me as an artist or, you know, it, I just made a decision from one day to another because there was so much going on at the time, not between me and Joe, but just within the team and just so much. And, you know, I felt like I needed more attention and I felt like it wasn't about money ever. It was just about, you know, I felt like we needed to make more music as a team together, do much more as a machine, other than just, you know, Joe's doing what he's doing and Remy's doing what she's doing and Tony just puts out music whenever he's, you know, um, whenever it's, it's okay for him to put out music. Right, right. You know, so I just chose to make a move. Um, was it the right decision? Was it the wrong decision? I don't know because, um, to tell you the truth, I can't say that I'm truly upset at the things I went through. It made me a better man. You know what I'm saying? So whether it worked out for me um, in a good way or a bad way, it still taught me a valuable lesson. And it's, it's crazy that you said patience, right? You, you said you wanted to talk about patience because patience is key. Patience is everything. You know, I want these young boys and these young artists to know that once you sign a deal, don't think that a bag of money is going to knock on the door. 
A bag of money is not gonna knock on the door. You gotta go and get that bag of money. You gotta bust your ass in that studio. So just because you sign a deal doesn't make you an instant celebrity. Just because you sign a deal doesn't mean that a Mercedes Benz and a, a keys to a brand new crib is gonna knock on the door. You know, um, I signed my first deal. I got my check. I got my, my advance check and two days later I was broke. My first deal. My first deal. My first deal. Because I wanted to be the best terror squad and everybody, right. <laughs> everybody saw. My chain had to be the best chain. My whip, you know. Right. So two days later I was like, you know, yo, I need this show. Right. I, gotta I need go, a show. I, I got to get money. I get this money my back. second advance was the same way, you know. Uh, I had to add a bracelet and a couple of rings right. to the you watch. Had to, and I had to throw had to some look rims. The part. Yeah, I had to throw some rims on the whip. But, you know, um, truth be told is I looked awesome. I looked great. I looked awesome. But I ain't had no motherfucking gas money. You know what I'm talking about? But that comes with being young. I'm 18, 19, 20 years old, all this money. You know, what we gonna do? We gonna run and we gonna get fresh. But we don't have nothing to fall back on. You know what I'm saying? So my first three or four deals, I was looking amazing. You know, the bills were paid, but I really didn't have money in my pocket like that. Unless I had a show or two to do. You know? So it's important, it's important to be mindful that you have to grind. This is an everyday grind, especially the way the game is now. It's not the same as before, where you went and signed a deal and they gave you a multi-million dollar deal and a couple of hundred thousand in your pocket and you know, you, you but it's not like that no more. 360 deals and the game is totally different. You got to bust your ass, you got to grind, you got to go out there and get it. It's not gonna knock on the door, nobody's gonna have sympathy for you. You know, um, um, talent, and I learned this now because they used to tell me this as I, when I was coming up in the game, and I'm still coming up in the game, they would tell me talent is just 20% of it. And I'd be like, what you mean? I got 100% talent. Mm -hmm. I'm doing sunshine. You know? Here I am, right. you know, 12, 13 years later, still trying to get to where I need to be. <laughs> what you mean? Right. Talent is 20%. You know, and, and, and I've always been, like Joe will tell you, anybody I've ever been signed to, Jive, whoever, I stay in the studio. I deliver the album to every 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 label I was signed to. You know, it, the, it wasn't about the work ethic. It was just about, you know, not knowing how to how, how, how to work me and also me being a knucklehead. You know, running around, you know, being fly, spending this money, wanting to fight, wanting, I'm Tony Sunshine, Terror Squad, you know. Um, I'm trying to drop a bunch of gems on them at the same time. Just just be humble, be yourself, be kind, be courteous to others. Work hard, man, work hard, smile. You know what I mean? Smile more, shake hands. Right. You know, um, Kanye it out, Drake it out. Right. They shake hands, they smile, they, they got their ways with them, but ultimately these guys don't portray to be super thugs and super gangsters, and it works. It works. You know, it works. Yeah, so. their, name, their names ring bells in corporate America, so that's how they're able to get the Adidas check and all these other things. Their so. name ring bells, these guys are monsters. <laughs> forces. The work ethic is crazy. These guys are forces to be, you know, um, I say that because when I was coming up, I was never a tough guy. I was never a tough kid. I was never a, 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 a thug. You know, um, I was actually a bullied kid and things like that. I was always the kid that was singing and things like that. And, um, I remember somebody telling me, never change, stay the same, don't worry about it, kid, smile, yeah, be you, you know, be happy, be this. As I started getting older and, 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 and seeing, you know, the hip hop and, you know, uh, the way people move, when I signed my first deal, I was still a nice kid. By the time I signed my second deal, being in the industry and seeing how people were moving, how people treated people, it's not my, even my own team, you know, not to throw shade, but just to see how people, you know, I was like, oh, so this is how I need to act. You know what I'm saying? Not remembering what the OG had told me, never change, stay the same. So all along, in my heart, I'm this nice guy, but outside, I'm like, I'm never going to let nobody punk me because this is the way I got to be to be in this industry. You know what I'm saying? Um, relationships with DJs wasn't the way, you know, it was play my record house. 
you know, that was the frame of mind. Totally not the case. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Totally not the case. Uh, there's just so many do's and don'ts that I want to talk to these kids about, and I want to I want to talk to the, the youth that's coming up now in the hip hop community. That it's just like because, uh, and it's making its way to New York. The 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 the, 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 the tragedies that are going on in Atlanta and Chirac, with these young boys killing each other, and this 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 drill music, this trap music. You know, you don't New York City. Uh, these young boys are thinking that that's the way to go. They're, they're starting to make that music, and I'm afraid for my young son. My son is 14 years old. And, you know, he's, he's he's still into his video games and his his, 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 his Yu-Gi-Oh cards and things like that. But you know, I remember being 13, 14 years old and, and, and playing my little skelsies and games and not paying attention to what was going on. And here I am, you know, 18, 19 years old now in the game, making a transition. I turned into this tough guy. And that's not the way, it's not the way to go because I have the stigma with me now. Tony Sunshine has the stigma. Oh, you know, just speaking to Joe yesterday at uh, uh, his sneaker store, his new sneaker store in, in, in Manhattan, and we were reminiscing over a couple of things and Joe says to me, yeah, he was like Saddam Hussein. <laughs> you understand? I'm an R&B singer for God's sake. I'm the youngest guy in the crew. I'm, I'm the youngest member of Terror Squad. For him to say that to me was an ah moment. You know, I went to the club the other day, to the strip joint the other day, and you know, I, I won't mention their names. I seen some guys, you know, in, in the game, and, and, and so now being a little older and wise and going through the things I've been through and trying to make a transition and being a businessman and being taken serious as an artist, now just instead of going to the club and acting up, I go there, sit down, you know, they bring whatever bottles and I wait for my money to come and I'm more observant now. Instead of just, ah! So I see these guys and these guys are much older than me and they run around jumping on chairs and tables and acting crazy and I'm sitting there like, wow, this is this was me, this is me. This is me, you know? And it's like, um, it's cool if that's what you wanna do. But at the end of the day, I realized that I got a platform. I got people watching me. I'm a role model, you know, and um, that's not what my everyday life consists of. You understand what I'm saying? So it's important for me to let these kids know that that's cool. If that's that's what you want to do for the moment. You want to jump on chairs. You want to stand on the bar. You want to throw money. You want to throw bottles. That's cool. That's not going to last a long time. You understand what I'm saying? It's not going to last you a long time. Um, and yeah, everyday life is not gonna consist of that. So you gotta learn how to, how, to, how to survive in this industry and know how to be yourself and know how to shake hands and know how to smile because when you walk into that office to talk to the, to, to the man behind the desk to get that check in the corporate world, you're not gonna stand on this chair and say, right. yo, what's up, yo, right. where that check at? You know, and you never know who we gonna see in them, in, in, in them, in, in them strip joints. You know what I'm saying, though, in them clubs. like. I'm just such a different guy, man. No, oh, that's dope. I, 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 and I'm not, I'm far from perfect. I got some bullshit with me, you know, um, as you can see. You know, I, 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 I'm, I, I learn, I'm learning every day. I'm still a work in progress. I'm far from perfect, but I have a lot of tools in my toolbox now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm much wiser. Um, and my will to succeed is way more stronger than it's ever been. You know, I refuse to take no for an answer, but I refuse to take no for an answer in a way more positive manner. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, positivity is the key all the way. Staying humble, staying kind, knowing how to speak to people is key, man. It's key and being appreciative above all, being appreciative to what you already got. Never mind what the next man got, you know, um, hate is a strong word. Hating on somebody, being bitter, is terrible. We gotta learn how to take the blueprint. We gotta learn how to how to how to how to how to be able to tell the next man that you look good, bro. You're doing you, you're doing great without having malice in your heart. You know what I mean? Like take notes, cause we can all get it. There's enough money. 
in this industry, in this game, in the world, for everybody. We just gotta stop being lazy. We just gotta stop being hateful. Stop being bitter, and we gotta know how to take notes. Follow the next man's blueprint. There's nothing wrong with it. Each one teach one. No, I appreciate it. Listen, Tom, before you get out of here, <laughs> right? We, we talked about patience. We talked about passion. You have some new music coming out, right? Let's talk about purpose really quickly. Like, what's what's fueling this this next wave of new music? We heard a little bit off camera. Some great music. Moving forward, before we get out of here, just wanted to share your purpose on on this piece of your journey um, to let people know where Tony Sunshine is going. Um, I'm just so full of so many ideas, and, and I want to do so much, but I know that patience is key, and, and, and I know that in due time, the Lord will allow me to receive all that's coming to me. Um, I can't tell you where I will be in the future, but I, I can tell you that I will stay on my grind. I'm gonna work hard to fulfill my purpose. I'm gonna record all the music I possibly can in case the Lord calls me sooner, <laughs> sooner than he's supposed to, mm -hmm. because we never know. We never know. Um, but I'm definitely most, most definitely 150% gonna keep the faith and keep it pushing. And that's all I can do is have faith and know that I walk with God. Bottom line. Tony, I appreciate it, man. Listen, my man, Tony Sunshine, the winner circle. We, we talked about patience, passion, and purpose. Make sure you walk in yours. Make sure that you understand that patience is a virtue. It is also necessary 100%. on your journey because things are going to come along around you. Like Tony just said, he just dropped a couple gems. Things are going to come that there's going to be obstacles. There's going to be walls. People gonna put walls in front of you. People that you didn't even expect that will put it. Your family, your friends, your homeboys, your yeah. spouse. They're gonna put some obstacles in your way. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get frustrated. You're gonna do some things that are unlike your behavior. Like Tone said, man, be who you are. Smile. Walk out the door. Put your passion on your back and understand you do have a purpose. But be patient along this journey, and you will yes. be successful. Tony Sunshine, June Archer. Winner circle. Archer to God. Yeah. Yes.